Hello, yung pa bas I'm George. Welcome to a new episode on this series on setting up load balancer infrastructure. And today, I will be looking at how I integrate my containerized web applications running on ECS with my load balancer. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interests, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. We generally would not want to create our infrastructure code from scratch. So you might have some infrastructure code that you have created in the past that you can perhaps leverage on a Terraform module. Or you could also leverage on other infrastructure code repositories that could address your needs or your use case. So let's pretend I have this use case and I needed to spin up ECS infrastructure for two different containerized applications and I want all these applications to be accessible to the internet. I already have existing Terraform modules that I have created in the previous episodes to tick off what I need. And I have Terraform module that I have set that creates ECS repositories, which is the first requirement. And I also have another Terraform module that I've set up for load balancers, which I will use to expose each of the applications that are running on ECS. So let's say I want to set up Nginx and Jacket as my two web applications. The first thing that I need to do is configure this new repository that I created for today's episode and set up my backend.tf to use the Terraform Cloud as container for my state files. So let me go ahead and open my backend.tf file. And in here, I will add the organization property accordingly. And then set my workspaces. I want to make sure that I have this workspace created properly in Terraform Cloud. So let me head to my VS Code terminal and export the environment variables that I need to run the script that I've created to set up my local workspace. And now that I have my Terraform workspace created, let me head back to my code. And on my main.tf, I will start working on the main implementation for my code. And for a start, I'll create my ECS module block. My ECS Terraform module has been set up as a private module in Terraform Cloud Registry. So what this means is that if I switch to my browser, and head to Terraform Cloud. And then select Public Spot. And if I select Registry at the left side panel, and then click Modules, this will list down all the private Terraform modules that I have set up. And if you want to learn more about how I set these modules, check out this series right here. Now, what I'm interested in is the ECS specific module, which is right here labeled as Pablo Spot ECS. So if I go ahead and click this module, on the right side of this page is a section on how I could set this up as a source to my module. So let me copy this. and then switch back to my code. And then plug in what I just copied. If I switch back to my Terraform module on my browser, there is a section in here called inputs. 
which define both the required and optional input variables that I need to pass when using this as a private module. And so with that in mind, let me switch back to my code. Remember that I need to be able to set up two web applications. So what I will do before setting all the required input variables for this module is to add a for each property that will allow me to traverse through a list of web applications that I need to set up. I need the value for the for each property to be a map that contains the relevant definition of the applications that I need to set up. And this is my trail of thought. And it does not necessarily have to be how you would do it, but this is how I would do it. I'm going to start with the first application, which is Nginx. The first element on this map will have a key called my Nginx, which needs to be a map. And in order for this Nginx application to be set, I need to define the Docker image to use. Remember, I'm going to run this inside ECS, so I need a Docker image. So I will add a property inside the My Nginx block called image and assign the appropriate Docker image to use. I also need to add a new property inside this block to define the port where the Docker container will run. For Nginx, I will set the port to 80. And to set the parameters for my other application, I will duplicate this my Nginx block. I will change the name to my jacket. And update the image and port for the application to work. And now that my for each block is set, I can now start filling up the required input variables to my module. So I'll start with the cluster name. To simplify today's implementation, I will set the value of this property to contain the key from my forage block. I will also use this same key to set the service name and the task family properties of the block. I will also need the launch type property. Inside this property, I will set the type of my ECS application to Fargate. And then allocate the minimal resources that account for CPU and memory. The next property I will set inside this module block is the container definitions property. This will contain parameters required to configure my web application inside ECS. This container definition needs a name, which I will set using the key from my for each block. It also needs an image, which I will point to the image value that I set in each of my web applications from my for each block.
And lastly, I need the container port property, which I will set using the port value from my forage block. I also need to add another property inside this module called target group ARM, which needs to point to a target group resource associated to a load balancer. This target group ARM property is the one that integrates my ECS resources with my load balancer. I have a Terraform module that creates load balancer resources. So let me switch back to my browser and show you that module. So if I head back to my list of Terraform modules, this module right here that says Pablo spot dash LB is the one that creates my load balancer resources. And so if I click this one, And the right side section contains configuration details that I can use to reference the module. So let me copy that and then switch back to my code. And then all the way to the end of my main.tf, I'm going to plug in the copied configuration block. Now, my load balancer Terraform module accepts three required input variables. They are the base domain, system name, and application port. The base domain property I will set to publospot.ml. The application port and system name need to be set in such a way that my web applications in ECS aligns to what's exposed to the internet. And in order to achieve that, I need to also define a for each block inside my load balancer module. Now. I don't want to redefine the same code block inside my load balancer module. So what I will do is head to my ECS Terraform module block and copy the contents of my for each block. And then I am going to open my locals.tf. and define a local parameter that will hold this map value. I will call this app underscore list. And now back to my main.tf, I will replace the value for this for each block to use my local parameter. which means on my load balancer module, I can also use the same local parameter for my forage property. And then now I can set my application port and system name based on the key and port value from my forage property. This module block should create my load balancer resources and it should create two endpoints, myenginex.publospot.ml and myjacket.publospot.ml, which corresponds to my two web applications.
And now, if I go back to my ECS module, I can then update my target group ARN property to fetch the appropriate output variable from my load balancer module. And it should look like this. The each key element reference inside this code will ensure that the right load balancer target group is assigned to the appropriate ACS application. And if I switch to my browser and go to the output section on this page, the target group ARN is an output of my Terraform module. Now let me head back to my code. That is all the changes that I need for now. So let me switch to my VS Code terminal. Set my TF workspace to POC, which stands for proof of concept. And then set my AWS credentials using AWS Vault. and then run Terraform in it. Run Terraform plan. And then Terraform apply. The Terraform apply is completed successfully. So now let me switch to my browser. Spinning up the infrastructure might take its time to register all the resources. So you may need to wait for some time before the endpoints become available. However, let me try to access my Nginx endpoints for a start and see if it's working. So that loads up fine. Now I'm going to try my jacket endpoint. And the page also loads up, which means everything is working. And that's all I have for the day. On the next episode, I will revisit this infrastructure code and identify an area on cost management that we need to improve on. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. See ya.